You're probably wondering why I'm looking like that. Well, as you already know on the news, Boris de Dolis has been fined. Now people will think, well, Pete, Pete, so you'd be happy he's been fined. No, no, he's been punished. What? Peanuts? Peanuts. In all fair said and done, right, Prime Ministers in the past have made mistakes. Even people people ate like Tony Blair. Santa, they always dying Blake itself look like this duddy duddy person. I thought I did right. Remember him? Tony Blair. And um, David Tamlin had to go. But he turned again, said he thought he did right, thought he was doing things, but he did the right thing and he went and rent. But Boris to Doris can't do that because he hasn't got the backbone and he's in denial. Because he's been proven to be guilty about having the party, you know, the party all night animal. And not only that, not only that, but he can't even admit that he's in the wrong. He can't admit that he did. Now, if I was Boris and I got caught with my undies down, matter the speaks, no, I'd do. I'd admit what I've done, I'd apologise to a nation, I'd say sorry, I know what I did was wrong, I shouldn't have done what I did, but I did, and I apologise for it, you know, I shouldn't have done that, I knew all the sacrifices you've done, to, 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 and so on with these horrible fires, and I did the opposite, and I was wronged, and that's a prime minute, so I apologise, you know what else he should have done, he should have resigned, and did the right thing, but he can't do that because he's in denial. And this is priceless. This is so fucking priceless. He turned round. He turned round. And this is on a show. I'm not making this up. Look it up. It's even been on the news. He turned around to this woman reporter and he said that he didn't know there was a party. It was his birthday, you see. And they were having a meeting, you know, the staff meetings and that. And I find it funny. I find it hilarious that you've got to keep your social distance. Remember when we had the big bad sturdy fires? Right, and you've got to keep your social distance from the boldy man. So when I saw it, I mean, he was sat near one another. There was really social distance, wasn't there? They really were wearing the face masks and keeping the social distances. That body started to deny it. He said he was only there a few minutes. No face masks, old body. So noticed that one, yo. Know, you know, in our sop, our sop, you put the law on us, bollocks. That's been popping up. You put the law on us, the law of the land, that we all got to wear our face coverings. Where was your face cover, Boris? Where were all the other people when you were having your meetings? Oh, you part out. Oh, nope, nope, no part out. Oh, the hell with it, because you're guilty now. You did have a party. And at the end of the day, you weren't wearing your face covering, knowing any of your peers, but all of us in the shop, we all had to wear our masks. So where was your social distancing your mask then, Boris? And not only that, I smelt BS. I'm only happy he didn't go on the lie protector because he might have done them money for the lie protector because believe me, believe me, he liked to fucking blow it up. He'd blow that lie protector up. You know, like Pinocchio when the nose gets bitter every time he tells a lie. He, I'm surprised he hasn't put the 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 lens when they're filming him when he makes his beats because you can see a liar. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't know there was a party. It was my birthday. BS, Boris. You was caught out with your undies, you was proved to be a liar, liar, pants on fire, and you've got to pay a fine. And people will think, well, Pete, 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 why are you not happy? Because he's got to pay peanuts. He's got to find peanuts. This woman, peanuts. But he's not the tourist party, peanuts. That is all they've got to find for, peanuts, nuts. The amount of money he gets to talking out of his bum, and I'm not going to stick my bum in the lens, I'm sick of doing it, but you know what I mean, how much fun the hell with it? How much he gets paid for this? Talking out of that. Seriously, talking out of that. A lot of money. So, him getting fined a couple of peanuts, which probably yeah, would be a lot of money to me, a lot of for a lot of other working people, but the amount of mon money he gets for talking out of his butthole, it's peanuts. He should be made to resign. As an example, Boris Johnson should be made to resign. He should apologise to a nation, which he wrote, because he's, he's, he's shitless. You know, we don't get you apologise, only because to, to make yourself look like a dud dab. Even then he's in denial. He's still lies, and he's still in denial, and apparently he's not having a party. Uh, even other prime ministers, I've had the goal, I've had the decency to admit what they've done. That is, they've been pressured to do it. But they have, even 
What's his fucking name? That's Snotty Get. Mike Snotty Hancock. I can forget that Snotty Get. Even when he got caught with his pants down, snogging that woman, he admit he did wrong. He apologised to a nation. Technically, he was pushed in doing that. But he did, and he did the right thing. He resigned. I still don't like him. I still think he's a snotty prat. But he did, he did the right thing, and he resigned snotty, Mike Snotty Hancock. But he's even got the balls to do it. He hasn't got the balls to do the right thing. So we're probably stuck now with his pompous prat for what Don't knows how many months. I'm so I'm so they're holding down the pussy next Fadian. I've seen it on the news. I've seen it on the news. The next Fadian V O two. The two don't know what it's gonna do. It's not even been signed if they're proving it's in this country. We're still going down people. But they're still down to suffer fear in your face. But if another Fadian comes, but as you already know, he even said it in his own words, that he will not rule out another lockdown. So what are we going to get for our wonderful prime minutes off? More lockdowns, more debts, more pay rises going up. You know what I mean? He's putting things up. Your taxes are going up and everything. So I would bother stiff for stuff about paying peanuts where you can get it back from your taxes, people. He could get it back, and I'm laughing because it's a joke. He could get it back from your taxes. So, so I'd be happy that he's got away with it. He has got away with it. He stood me side. I never thought in a million years I'd have deal with Starman. Because I cannot stand Starman. And we all know Starman. And an art here, pal. We all know why you said what you said. Because you want to get in Boris Blumen Donson shoes. Ain't going to happen, you pedo protector. Ain't going to happen. One, you stuck up for a pedo. That being Timmy Saffle. Two, bidding them out of people wait, you thinking ducks, me and two did. And three, you'd have just a lockdown. Why would people want to offend you and vote for you? Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. Even the barman who had a go at you, that's their H you ducks. You ain't going to get no folks. It's definitely from me, but there's one thing I will deal with you on. He should have left. Boris Johnson should have done the right thing. He should have done the right thing and he should have resigned. He should have resigned, but he didn't because he's spineless and it solves it. He is spineless and it solves it. So, so I'd be happy. So, I'd go, yeah, he's got fined. Not really. He's just got paid. He's just paid out peanuts, which he'll get back from you, the taxpayer, for putting your taxes up. And my dad, right, nail with it. I'll just say it. My dad used to stick up for Boris. He, he would have offended Boris. If I had to go at Boris, he offended him. Last night, I was at my dad's. And even my dad is disgusted in Boris because of the fact he put the taxes up. He was going on, protect me from my one people, about protecting the old left. Remember when he shifted that lockdown? Protecting the old dude. If you're going to see your dan ma, your dan dad, you're going to commit murder. You're going to kill him if you go and see him because of the cut off it. But that he's having a party. He's having a party at our expense and he puts the taxes up that they can't even afford and they're stared shitless of having the eating on. I know it's going to be fine mental friendly now, so it's going to be less money on us. Don't buy into it, people. Don't buy into it. This is a man, this is a man who ain't going to rule out another lockdown, even though the Phaedron, I believe, my eyes, my words, will eventually die down. Not a comp proved it. People got it. There was barely an obstacle with it. And I'm sure this new Phaedron, with the dance of the fear in everyone's face, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same. So I cheer now that Boris has got had to pay peanuts. No, because it's out of your expense with the taxes going up, people. So I'm sorry you get it back. What can I say? It's nothing new. I knew he was going to get off of it anyway. But there you go. What a, what a, what a farce. What a farce. My dad got it right when he said last night. Government puts a dance to us. Into them. See you later. What a joke.